Hi everybody. I'm going to show you uh, how to do the uh, Willie Mason jar Nova Scotia 123 microwave technique for both yarn and fabric. I tried this the other day, but <laughs> the video didn't take. So let's try this again. So let's see if this will work. Okay, so I'm going to change screens. Okay, so now you can see what I'm doing. And hopefully this is going to record this time. So this is what you can print off. Um, yeah, right there, Katie. Thank you. Katie's helping me today with the background stuff. You can print this off on your printer and then you'll have it. Okay, so this is very, very simple to do step by step. Okay, so the we only need two dies for this, and they are W9 blue and W5 yellow, and you need two tablespoons, which are right here, and one for each. Well, you don't need two, you just need one. Okay, so the very first thing you do is, I'm gonna try something here, see if it goes on screen. Step one. Okay, prepare hot or boiled water. I use boiled water, it doesn't really matter. One tablespoon of W9 and four cups of hot water. Okay, so Katie, would you get me four cups of hot water from the, that blue? Yeah, and you might as well put four cups in here. And so the very first one we're going to do is the yarn. So we'll take our yarn. I'm going to do both of these in the same size container so you'll see. We'll do the fabric and this in these little containers that you see me use. And these are from the Dollarama. They're really, where is the cheapy things? Two dollar containers. Okay. So. I'm going to take my wool, which I have warmed. I have it in warmed water. I have it soaked. I always like soaking it. And Katie, would you put a tablespoon in each of those two cups, please? Not adding any acid of yet of that blue dye, W9, into these two cups. One in each. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And so for the very first layer, what I like to do, you can take this away now, for now, is just pour this over. And what I'm doing is I'm laying a base of blue on the yarn. Now this one I will mash a little bit and do that with Get me another one of these beakers, Katie, please. So I'm just going to mash it because I would like this mostly all blue. There's a few, if there's a few spots of white, that's fine because then it's going to get some yellow. Now this will go into the microwave for five minutes on high, covered but not sealed. So I just take the cover to this and I flip it upside down so it doesn't seal itself. And then it goes in the microwave. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same. I won't need that now. I'm going to do the same with the fabric. So this weighs the same as the yarn. The yarn is 113 grams. This is 111 or 110 grams. So it doesn't all have to be one piece. As you've seen, I did, well, you didn't see it because it was on the video that didn't take. I used two pieces. I could use 11 swatches, anything that works up to 110 grams so that they'll match really good. And then not being too fussy, I'm just laying it into here so that I can, is it on for five minutes? Right there, you need to cover it. Thank you. 
And while that's cooking, we'll get this one going. And then we'll get the step two ready to go. Okay, so just kind of poke it in there. And then this goes on here. And I'm going to mash it again. And as I said, I want, I want mostly blue. But if there's a little bit of white, that's going to be good to, for when we put the yellow on. Okay, so this will go in the other one for five minutes. And I will prepare the next step, which is prepare hot water again. Two tablespoons of W5 solution in a, and a half a teaspoon of citric acid in one cup of hot water. So I will need the I will need a cup of hot water in each of these. And then I will put two tablespoons in each. Doesn't have to be completely accurate. It's just basically that amount. That's close enough because I gotta put three tablespoons in there. Or two. Okay. So this is the next step. Whoops. There's a hair in there. One. And two. Okay. As soon as that comes out, that will come out. Okay. And let's move that aside. And here's for the other one. So I call this one, two, three because step one has one tablespoon and step two has two tablespoons. Step three has three tablespoons. You know me, I have to try to do things that are easy to remember and it's easy to remember one, two, three. Whoops, trying to get this off the screen. There we go. So you probably <laughs> missed me doing that. I just put two tablespoons in each of these cups. Okay, so now I'm seeing a lag. It must be our internet. So, um, what can I talk about while we're waiting for that? Usually things roll on a little better. This is lagging, so this is what the fabric looked like in the blue. Isn't that gorgeous? And then here's the yarn that goes with it. And so, how many minutes are we down to for that Two one? Two minutes left. Two minutes left? Okay. So what we can also do now, the next two rounds, it'll be two minutes. So we can go ahead and do two cups. Katie, I'll take two cups each in these two, and we'll get the blue ready for the following step. Hopefully there's enough hot water. If not, we'll get some out of the tap. So step number three. Oh, we didn't put the citric acid in. I'm glad somebody's reminding me to do this. So this needed a half a teaspoon of citric acid. So I'm not sure why it doesn't seem to be recording. So it's in there now and you're not seeing anything going on the screen. Here we go. So the citric acid is in. Ah, oh, definitely going to have to revisit my Wi-Fi connection here because its lag is not much good for doing a video. Okay. No, it's uh, just on my... So that will do. Katie, give me that uh, yarn. It'll be fine. So I'm getting the yarn out. And I'm going to spot the dye over the wet, hot yarn. So first, what does the instruction say to do? Instructions say, okay should be clear so I'm going to look to see if the water's clear and it isn't so what I'm going to do is just kind of force it in a little bit and it says if it's not clear I push it down and twist with the bottom of the cup a little bit 
So it'll probably need a tiny bit of acid now to take up that dye. And you'll see right away that this is going to clear. Just right in front of your eyes. I'm just, just lag in the video. I've not seen this happen before, but I guess I'm going to have to go back to the old technology of having somebody videotape me. This seemed like a good idea if I could do it all myself, but if the video is too slow, or I'm too slow to keep up with the video, it could be. So, you see where this is just about clear? Ouch. Not quite. So I'm just going to give it a little bit more time. But being on screen like this makes me want to rush. So there, it's clear now. So I'm just going to pour off. Okay, I've drained some of the water off. Okay. I'll take some of this water off. Okay. Put that aside. And now I'll take the yellow that has the citric acid in and just going to pour it in random spots. And if I see any lighter spots, that's where I'm going to pour it. And this looks really, really ugly at this point. So don't be afraid. Just trust what I tell you that it's going to... And this is going to go in the microwave for two minutes. And now I'll take the other piece of fabric from Katie and we will put the yellow in that one. We may have to add a tiny bit of blue or, or uh, of acid, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to do two things at once. <laughs> I have a hard enough time walking, talking, and chewing gum, let alone <laughs> showing you two. Okay, I'm just trying to get as much as I can in before the camera starts working, stops working. So, okay, so I probably should have stirred the blue more. This I'm going to sprinkle a tiny little bit of the acid on there, and now I'm going to work it in. Oh, there's some spots of white. So you'll you'll be able to do this. If if you take notes and do it consistently each time, and you could use a bigger piece, bigger pieces in a bigger vessel. So I'll pour off this blue into here, and now I will spot it with the yellow in the same way we did before. Pour this um, Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now this is really hot, so don't. Don't do what I do. And if you like to turn it over to see where your other white spots are, go ahead. But I don't find that it's that necessary. I will probably turn over the yarn at some point, but it isn't necessary, so why bother? So you see where this white is? I'm going to put the yellow right there. So that's going to give us a nice green that we need and some yellow for the Nova Scotia Blue. See? Very, very similar to what we did on the other one. So, poke that in. And Katie will put this in the microwave for two minutes after she passes me the other one. And now, we will do the final step of the other one. Thank you, Katie. And so the final step on this is three tablespoons of W9 blue and a quarter teaspoon of citric acid in two cups of hot water. So here's the hot water. And here is the dye. So I want three of these, one, two, and three, okay. and then I'll do the same with the other one. 
Would you like to put three three in there for me, please? The yellow or the blue? The blue, yeah. just like I did here, yeah. Okay, so the water is clear. Let me get rid of this. The water is clear here because we had put acid, can you see that, in the yellow. So now, this is going to kind of make everything prettier. And this I can mash in because that's already settled. Oh, I didn't put the acid. Oh. Well, when you forget, then you just put it over the top. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. And then this will go in again for two minutes. Now, I want to make sure that it's both sides, you see. Pick it up. So, in here, I have a white string, which makes it easy for me to find, to pick it up. It's normally visible, but I don't, I don't really see it right now. But maybe this could be the odd time that I didn't do it. So, anyway, we're just going to poke this down into that blue, and you're going to see that this immediately is going to clear. And, but I'm going to put it in the microwave for another two minutes. There we go. And then we'll do the same with the fabric. And then that's it. It's really already done, but we'll have the reveal in a moment. Thank you, Katie. I'll find you. And this one's going to have a lot more green, it looks like. But once we get that blue on there, this is going to be beautiful. Just a matter of layering and cooking, setting each step as you go. And that's what makes it beautiful. Nova Scotia blue here. And this, move around. Oh, to put that acid in again, right? And then once that comes out of the microwave, it's done. And you'll have the perfect matching piece for your binding or whatever you're doing. You'll, if, you're bi if you're hooking in yarn, you can also hook with this in there. If you've hooked this into your background, you can use the yarn for your binding, for your whipping. You see that? How beautiful that is already. Gorgeous colors that are that are in there. It doesn't seem to show that well on the video. So two minutes for this one. And then the other one you can take out and give to me and I'll show everybody what I do. So yarn, when you're at home. Just let your yarn sit and cool off where it is if you want. That's a proper way to do it, but that's not the way I do it. I always just kind of take this water still hot from the soaking. So I'm going to take the yarn out now and I'm just going to move it into this and use it as Ritz water. But I'll be careful. Now make sure the water's clear. All that blue's gone. Okay. And now, oh, I think I got glimpsed. There's, there's that little, there's that little string. So here it is. Here. This is, gives me a handle, so I don't burn myself. I'll wait for the video to catch up because. There's my handle. It's frustrating, but and then it's going right into the other. A little bit cooler. Now I would have left it to let all this water go, but since we're on on a video here and I'm trying to show you the end results, and you'll see that none of this water is going to run when this is done. The water will be clear and it'll remain clear even through the rinse because the colors were set in the microwave each time. So, okay, let's just going to squeeze this out. 
And I'm going to show you your Nova Scotia Blue yarn. Okay, so this one has probably should have taken a little more time to move it around, but I love that when there's a blue spot in it like that. So here you are. Here's your Nova Scotia Blue yarn. And now, in just moments, we're going to see the fabric that goes with it. And again, I'm going to use the same rinse water. This will be rinsed gently in more water in the sink. Okay, so this, we'll check to see if it's clear. Water's clear, so it's done. To this rinse water which cools it off a tiny bit so that I might be able to pick it up to show you before I end the video so hopefully <laughs> you can print this off and you'll be able to look at this if there isn't too much lag in it but let's see here it's hot take that try to cool it off as I take it out but Okay, Katie, thank you. some cool water? No, it's okay. okay. It'll cool off while I'm doing this. So, here's our Nova Scotia Blue. Okay, I'm going to squeeze it out a little bit. So there's spots of green, spots of blue, some lice spots. There you go. Perfectly matching yarn. And fabric. <laughs> Thank you. All at the same time. So I, I hope this encourages you to go ahead and try this. Try it with different different colors. You can try it with the, you, I think if you're going to go on the purple side, the red is quite strong. I might dilute it. I'm not a big purple fan, so I can't really help you in that department. But if you went on the orange, it's similar to the loaf pan style. You're going to get a mottled orange so and try it try it with your colors and have fun thanks bye